20, 10, 08, ready? Yeah. All right. All right. But you can't start without the cameras. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know uh, Gary Martin knows that better than I. I'm glad to be in his company, president, production administration uh, of the legendary Columbia TriStar Motion Picture Group, also joined by our leader uh, here in uh, Adams Morgan in all places, Ward 1, uh, that is Jim Graham, council member from Ward 1, chair of the Committee on Public Works, uh, as well as our leader of the Office of Motion Picture and Television Department, Kathy Hollinger. Uh, we want to recognize her uh, and her team. They do such an amazing job working on so many different uh, films uh, and projects that uh, both highlight the District of Columbia uh, as uh, the nation's capital, the world's greatest city, uh, world's greatest country, and then also uh, they um, uh, do a great job to help uh, spur and bring in revenue. Uh, today is a, uh, a, is a great uh, a public private uh, uh, announcement. It is a, an announcement that centers around a uh, film uh, which Columbia uh, TriStar is uh, putting together uh, in Adams Morgan. The film, as I have been advised, will star uh, such A-listers as Reese Witherspoon, Owen Wilson, and Paul Rudd. Uh, it will shoot this summer, directed by James Brooks, uh, produced by Brooks and Paula Weinstein, Lawrence Mark, Julianne Sell. Uh, the key thing for us, the reason why we as D.C. government are uh, here in even greater force than we normally are to support uh, such a great uh, project, is that local residents and summer youth are going to have a unique opportunity to participate in a job training program in an effort to work in various roles within the movie production. So the young people will be doing things like uh, being on set crew, uh, production office staff, uh, craftspeople, uh, local actors, uh, and extras. And you know, the, the, the question that I am most frequently asked in the ward is this. Council member, can you get me a job? And what we're doing today is all about jobs, it's all about prosperity, it's all about utilizing our neighborhoods, bringing prosperity and progress and economic vitality into our neighborhoods. And Mr. Mayor, we welcome all of your fine efforts in this regard. And, and what you are doing to revitalize the summer jobs uh, program is just terrific. You know, I'm glad that it's nine weeks long, but I'm also glad that we're moving away from just kids spending the whole summer leaning on a rake. <laughs> you know, that kind of job. You know, go the here and just don't bother us again until the end of your term and we'll pay you X amount an hour. We don't want those jobs, although they're better than no jobs at all, I might add. But what we want are meaningful opportunities where young people get get a chance to develop themselves, develop their interests, and really make something of themselves during the summer. These jobs open doors. And we've had a program in Ward 1 now for nine years, Pro Urban Youth DC. And we're now in our ninth year where we've really worked hard to have meaningful employment opportunities where at the end of the summer, you not only have a paycheck which matters, but you also have a sense of achievement and a sense of opportunity. Kathy Hollinger, again, Director, Office of Motion Picture and Television Development for the Government of the District of Columbia. This is so exciting. We, um, we're so happy when films and productions are coming into the city, and we know that we have so much to be proud of in terms of our national monuments, but this production is in our neighborhoods, and it's terrific. They're going to be throughout the city, but right here in Adams Morgan, right here in this building and across the street. Um, I think the more interesting piece of this project is really what um, the mayor was speaking to and Councilmember Graham, and that is the front end um, commitment that Sony made when we talked to come in and help us build a workforce that we have in DC, but we need more of. And we have a very creative base. They're coming in, training these summer youth, training some college interns, and giving them an opportunity that Quite honestly, not a lot of people will be able to get. So this is going to be 
tremendous, and we hope that we build on this. This is just the start of a much larger initiative that our office, with the support and uh, energy and commitment from the mayor, will be pursuing to really try and grow this program so that we have great experiences, not only for our summer youth in the summer, but for district youth throughout the year. What we're intending to do, as Kathy laid out, is train some of the folks here to be film folks. It doesn't do us any good to come into a city and not have a labor pool that we can draw from. So it is self-serving in our part, but it's a wonderful city. You know, it's like build it and we'll come. Have a film environment and we'll be here. It's great to come here and shoot the monuments, but it's a heck of a lot better to shoot the people and the environment, and it's a beautiful city, and very few people get too far away from those monuments. We're gonna change that. And hopefully we'll change also the folks you have here and we'll get them interested in this business. It's a great business to be in. And for us, um, at this time in particular, the city is vibrant, it's beautiful, we're it, it deserves to have a voice other than the monuments. Everybody sees them all the time, but this is an incredible, creative, great community. Um, I've been coming for years, and frankly, not until quite recently have I felt as passionately that it belongs to all of us. And, and I feel that now, and the idea that we're going to have young people learning our business who can then create their own films and their own stories out of that is really gratifying to us all.